guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video vlogging today i'm actually starting the vlog usually i'm like good morning how are we all it's actually evening six o'clock and i'm just pulled up outside of a place called inspirations wholesalers it's towards it's near cheshire oaks designer outlets and they have very kindly invited me to an influencer event type thing whereby it's just having a look at their summer collection some new home web bits that they've got in and yeah just having a look really they are giving us a little voucher as well i'm just gonna have a browse show you what's new in but if you've not seen my vlogs before where i have been to inspirations wholesalers they do the best christmas displays they do lots of nice easter bits as well and spring bits i think last time i came was easter last year and i brought barney with me i think I've not brought him anyway today for the event because I just thought there's going to be like live music. I want to show you guys what's in store so I want to focus. And um, yeah, I'm excited. They've obviously got the home decor bit and the seasonal bits, but they also have lots of really nice faux foliage and plants and things like that. Bigger furniture items like with garden furniture over summer. Um, I'm really excited to go in, see what is in, and then, yeah, spend the next day or two with me. Well, definitely day or two, because it's evening already, and I'm only just starting the vlog. I think tomorrow I might head over, watch Tom play cricket for a bit. Um, I need to go to Wilco's, just top up on some, like, household essentials, so I'll stop in en route back from cricket tomorrow, because they're dog-friendly, because I'll have Barney with me in the car. Um... But yeah, for now, let's head on in to Inspirations Wholesale. And just for reference, it's not like a kind of Costco wholesale. It is, you do have to be a member, but you sign up. I'm pretty sure it's for free. You just sign up as you're about to pay if you've never been here before, just your first time paying and you get like a little card or something. I can't remember. And in fact, I've not even brought my card. So I'm just assuming it'll all be fine for today. Um, but yeah, it's super easy. To set up you don't have to be like a business owner or anything like that i'm outfit repeating as well i've got this pretty lavish dress on which i wore in my was it last vlog or the vlog before i can't remember but yeah i just love it so much because it's long sleeve and it's long length it's nice for this time of the year where it is a bit warmer but i maybe haven't shaved or haven't put my fake tan on and i just want to be a little bit more covered um it's just so easy and comfortable um but yeah I'm going to stop rambling now. I'm going to head in and let's go see what is new in for summer at Inspirations Wholesale. They've got live music on, I don't know if you can hear that, so I might have to do some clips with music or something. Gorgeous picture frames, I'm very tempted to get a couple of these. And um, they've got like a lot of white wash wooden frames, which I'm loving. I also love these kind of ginger jars that they've got. I think they've got some bigger ones as well. I'm not quite sure, let's see if this one has a price on it. 19.99 that one is, but yeah, I think that just looks so gorgeous it's like a smaller version of the one that i've already got and then i really like these wooden chopping boards for styling again 14.99 that one is all their prices are plus vat because they are the wholesalers um you know so if you are a business you can claim vat back but yeah just bear that in mind if you come i'm a big fan of a wooden stool these ones are 25.99 i think these look good kind of in a bathroom sat next to a bath they're all kind of different i've seen some more as well so like the rustic you know texture to them the fact that they've all got these knots and grooves and everyone's unique i really like i think it makes it look more expensive yeah 25.99 so like in a bathroom or as a little plant stand I think that is so adorable I've just spotted these are gorgeous too but this like wicker basket which I love I feel like I'm gonna try and find this see if it's for sale but that with like the like logs in it by the fire or even baskets and a cushion or something I think styled up would be lovely it is quite big though so I'm wondering 
how oh here we go Let's see how much it is 41.99 yeah I was gonna say I'm wondering if that's gonna be quite pricey but I mean I have got my voucher so I've just got to try and decide what I'm gonna put it towards I'm regretting a basket I feel like I should have probably gone with a trolley might have to go back for one. Oh, this is nice as well, how it's like a double photo frame that you can stand up. $9.99. That's a really good price. Love that. Just for comparison, these are the larger ginger jars that they've got. This is like the one that I've got at home. A lot heavier. I don't know if you can see how much it is on the bottom. $39.99. Oh, that's heavy. They also do the cutest displays at East, Easter, autumn as well. This little chopping board is 9 99 and I actually have these pumpkins. I bought them myself last year, year before, can't remember. 10 99 for the larger one and 7 99 for the smaller one. Little bargain sale find, 3 99 this little jug. Very white company vibes, I feel. They also have larger ceramic jugs, also in the sale for $8.99. If you want to get maybe like the two, have them side by side, use them as a vase, obviously as like a water pitcher jug. Lastly, this is the medium jug, and that one is on sale for $5.49. I'm actually really tempted to get a couple. I'm just trying to decide which sizes to go for. I also spotted these white trays, which I love the look of. These are $16.99, and again, they're a real kind of like rustic, washed finish to them, where they've almost like been sanded down. Really rustic, and yeah, really like them. I think White Company do one similar, but it's like a white lacquer. Again, another little White Company dupe. These wicker placemats that they have on sale as well at just $2.99. Love them, very tempted. Good for outdoor living as well for in summer. This is just one of two massive aisles of baskets. Oh, here we go. Got these trays, kind of similar to that one that I saw earlier. <sighs> it's just trying to decide the sizing, which ones to go for. I feel like that in my utility. Or just like a little tray on the, like we're getting um, one of the sofas that I've ordered. It's from Sofa Club and it's in the like kind of kitchen living extension part. I've ordered a, like rather than an L-shaped sofa, just to have a bit of flexibility, I've got a sofa, like a three-seater sofa with a footstool, like a poof, that's the same width as half of the sofa. So I'm thinking maybe like a tray on there with like a coffee table book and a candle. Um, Oh look, here's one of the chug things. That's the size for reference against me. Might have to come back for that one. So although I don't often go for faux flowers and faux foliage, I do really like these. They look like olive leaves. Is that what they're meant to be? Oh, eucalyptus, so it's a type of eucalyptus. But yeah, I really like the look of that one. They are $4.99 per stem, and if I just get one stem so you can see what just one looks like. You've got quite a few like branches that you could spread out and manipulate to make it look quite big. I've only spotted one of these so far, but that big artichoke is very Neptune style. So I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for more of those and hopefully they might have a couple of sizes that you could maybe use as like a little bookend for a smaller one or have them side by side. I feel like I need to do a full lap of the store before I put anything in my basket. Does anyone else do that? I like to just do one lap and then come around for a second lap. Sometimes even a third just to make sure you've not missed anything. I really like the uh, picture frames that the White Company do. You know where it's like 52 aperture frame ones? This one's only three. But again, it's that kind of like washed, wooden, antiqued look to it. Oh, some more ginger jars as well. These ones are like a marble effect. This, guys, is the contorted hazel, a bit like what I've got in one of my vases. It's $9.99 um, each. And yeah, you can have them obviously tall in a big like glass stem like they've got them here. 
or if you kind of like snap them off you can have like just one single one out of a vase oh I actually have this last time I was here I bought this wooden bowl with a smaller one as well and again I've got it down in the basement ready for styling 20 pounds that one is I think the smaller one was about 15 10 to 15 and I like them together um, but yeah they are lovely as are they they have the biggest section of kind of like faux flowers faux foliage like even just these ferns they're absolutely gorgeous so realistic so nice I feel like I'm in the jungle here We've also got the um, leaf and vine just behind me there, which is like a little cafe. Really nice for like if you want to come have a browse with someone or just by yourself like I did last time and have brunch. Um, they did give me a hot drinks voucher, so I might get like a hot chocolate or something for the, for the road home. But yeah, my basket has something in. I'll show you what it is when I get home. Um, but yeah, I'm looking for some more bits now. I'm really trying to think of a place that I could put this. Wicker butler tray was $34.99, now only $24.99. I think it's very white comedy vibes with the whole butler's tray thing. We have got one already in our spare bedroom, which I think is where a butler's tray looks best. But I'm just trying to think if there's anywhere like in our kitchen extension bit that this would go, because I love it. But I'm really struggling to think where I'd put it. That's the only thing. Hmm, I don't want to leave, not get it, and then regret it because then I find a place for it. However, I feel like it's too big, or oh, unless, because this is detachable, I could get it, and if I can't find a home for it, then I've got a beautiful tray. Hmm, decisions, decisions. So again, yeah, with it being a wholesaler, this is exactly what I mean by they've got all these kind of like foam bases for floral arranging, floral arranging, flower arranging, and like some wire wiring down there for wreaths. They've got all of these ribbons, some like hessian, what's it called, is that hessian? No, what's it called? And then um, these, which I feel like this would be quite handy actually, to have rustic hessian, so that's hessian. So what's that? Go organza that's it organza at the bottom but yeah this would be quite handy and how much is it for one 5.99 for a roll that is nine meters guys i feel like i found the biggest bargain yet today these massive cylinder vases which would look good with like a big white company botanical candle in or something and then seasonally you could put some different things in it look at this 1.99 unless if it's that one I bet it is. That one's $7.99. How much is this one then? It says on the back $14.99, but these are all sale, so I'm assuming it might be in the sale. I do love these peg shelves that they've got, but I'd already have some pegs already that still need to go up in our utility, so I don't have a space for them, but they are really, really nice. I love them. Again, like really rustic in texture and finish. They're not too like perfect, which is what I like. Um, they've got loads of them. They've also got these really nice olive trees. They're only small compared to the one I've got in our like cinema room, but $89.99. And they've got like, and they've got much bigger like olives on than my one. Uh, but yeah, really nice. And definitely in the market for some more olive trees when we um, start styling the upstairs. So I'll bear that in mind. That was blooming lovely. Nice little browse. Um, around inspirations. It's, it's quite inspirations wholesale. And uh, yeah, got myself some goodies. So I'll show you those when I get back. I'll probably show you them tomorrow actually because it's gonna be dark by the time I get back. But I did treat myself to some new pots from Costco that I picked up recently that I just haven't taken in the house yet. Treated myself to well, I got myself a hot chocolate from Leaf and Vine. I was going to say treat myself to some school cake, but it's in the boot. So I'm just going to go grab it and eat it before I go home. Good morning, guys. I'm a little bit blurry. There we go. Back in focus. How are we all? I hope we're all well. I was kind of 
talking as if we're starting this video, but it's already started. It's just a new day for me. Um, so the event at Inspirations was lovely and yeah, got a couple of bits, got back home. I did actually end up quickly going via Cheshire Oak, so I got a couple of bits from there. I'll show you those in a second because um, I wanted to just pop into Lululemon. It's like any opportunity. If I'm near Cheshire Oaks, I feel like I might as well just pop in to Lululemon in the hope that they might have some aligned leggings or whatever. Um, so I popped into that, got home somewhat late-ish, just had a chilled evening. And then today, sun is shining and I feel like I'm definitely gonna go onto the cricket, watch Tom play for a couple of hours. And then, like I said yesterday, head back via Wilco's with Barney to pick up some essentials, some clean bits, have a quick mooch, and then yeah, head back home and anything I do get, I'll show you what I do get. Now, we do actually have the painter decorator in. He is sanding, if you can hear that. Um, but for now, I'll just show you those bits that I did get from Lululemon. Oh, it feels a bit dark in here. It doesn't look it on camera though. Did I get anything else? Oh, I did, I popped into M&S. I forgot about that. Speaking of M&S, this little kind of like clot style jumpsuit, I'll leave it linked below because this is so comfy. I got this from M&S and I think I showed it in my last like little kind of M&S vlog. I'm a little pale. I'm hoping to catch some sun today, catch some rays. I always find cricket season and like dog walking in summer when it's not too hot for them, but like this time of the year, just get my skin out. <laughs> Put on some moisturiser, some SPF to like catch some natural sun. I just got two of the Align Tops, which I don't have many of these. Do I have any? Yes, I've got one in black and then I've got like an Amazon dupe. It's definitely not as good. It's not as good as the Amazon leggings dupe that I always wear. But anyway, I picked up this. Now, they had the white one in the outlet. They never tend to get like black, white, just the staple colors in the Cheshire Oaks outlet, just cause they're obviously, there's no need for them to go into the outlet. However, they did have some imperfect white align tops. So when I saw them, she, she even said to me, quite honestly, when we get them in, we really try our best to find that imperfection and can't even find it. Um, this one it says it's imperfect because there's makeup on the back right. Uh, so somewhere there apparently, somewhere is a makeup stain. I cannot for the life of me find it. So anyway, because of that, it was discounted. So these ordinarily are 58 pounds, but this one, because of that imperfection, is only 39. Got this one in a size eight, and they're like US sizing, so usually like size two different. So the leggings that I wear, I get in a six, which would equate to an eight to 10 UK. But So this would equate to a 12, but I do find the top is a little more snug fitting so i feel like that will be fine um but then they also had this color in the align and they had some leggings now this is actually in a six so a uk 10. this one was reduced from 58 pounds down to 19 pounds so quite a significant jump down um and it's because there's a tiny little snag on the front which i did spot so i'm just gonna try and like cut that off and i think it should be fine just a tiny let me show you a bit closer up tiny little pull there can you see so if i just cut that it should be fine oh i need to sneeze <coughs> oh bless me <coughs> i've already been on a walk with barney this morning i feel like there's a little bit of hay fever going on but anyway so yeah i've got this one in a size six and it's like a kind of purpley lilac-y blue and they had some line leggings in my size in very similar colour, but she checked the code and it wasn't the exact colour. And when you match them up together, and she did say if you actually wear them as well, you will notice, even though they're basically the same colour, put them on top of each other and you could slightly tell the difference. So anyway, I decided to leave them. They weren't a massive bargain, so I just left them, but yeah. So I've got a couple of new Align tanks. And then went into the M&S outlet and spotted this, which I already own, and I paid full price for this when I did get it, which was 
25 pounds but i thought i'd get a brand new fresh one for um our new sort of downstairs area and it's one of these wax melt burners and it's a set these are good gifts actually but it was only 15 pounds and they come with wax melts in there as well so you get calm balance restore sleep and tranquil you get four wax melts of each of those scents you get loads and obviously the gorgeous ridged uh white ceramic oil burner as well wax melt burner as well so yeah i had to get that and then i've got two of these cushions because um i think this color will go perfectly in our new extension area because obviously we've got the kind of muddy green color on the island our downstairs loo which is off that space we're going to be painting green as well touches of this kind of olive green khaki greens within that space and we've ordered our sofa that should be arriving uh it just says i think it said four four weeks three or four weeks so once that arrives it's like a natural kind of stone beige kind of color um i thought this and maybe a nice throw cream throw or olive throw would go really nicely on that sofa so i picked up the two for now these were not a massive discount but 14 pounds full price they are and they're reduced to 10 pound 50. i'm not in love it might work but i'm not in love with the fact that they're not choppable cushions but I thought even if just for a linen, 100% linen cushion cover, I still think £10 each is a pretty good price. So even if I switch out the inserts, I'll see how they work with these ones for now. But um, yeah, once our sofa's here, I will get those out. And if I feel like I want to switch out the insides, then I'll just do that. Um, but yeah, that's everything that I got from Cheshire Oaks. I'll show you the bits I got from Inspirations as well. So the first thing that I spotted, and actually the first thing that went in my basket, I knew it was coming home with me, is this jar. It's kind of, again, like I was showing you in the stores, they're like ginger jars that they do. This one's a bit of a different shape. It was a bit nicer than the other ones because it's more white. The other ones are quite grey, and I just love the kind of washed, aged, imperfect stone kind of texture and finish to these. So I quite like them, obviously, as storage pots with the lid kind of just sat on the side, like balancing on the side. And then I also picked up one of these photo frames because I just really liked, again, that kind of rustic, imperfect edging to these white photo frames. Just really like them. I like that they're a thick frame as well. So you just have a small, like, black and white photo of me, Tom and Barney in there or something, I don't know. And then, yeah, that was $8.99. Last but not least, I got these two jugs and, oh, <laughs> my voice went really wet there. I like, took a breath of fresh air. As I showed when I was in store, there were three different sizes all in the sale. And I decided to go for the smallest one and the largest one. I thought side by side, they could work quite nicely together. This would be great as a little kind of milk jug for when you're, I don't know, you've got big brunch display, display, display and you just need a jug of milk or juice or something. This one could be a nice like big tall water pitcher with like some lemons and mint in there to just have out again, outdoor living in summer, um, hosting as well, or when you're not using it like that, to have it maybe somewhere and used as a vase, either on the shelf in our kitchen or on the island. It would be quite nice styled with some branches of something eucalyptus or some contorted hazel or some olive leaves or something so yeah they are the few bits that i bought well i say i bought inspirations very kindly gave us a 50 pound voucher so that went towards all of that i only ended up spending 36p over that i didn't even tot it up properly and i got to the till and he was like that'll be 36 pence please and i was like oh that's pretty much bang on so yeah i was happy with that um anyway <laughs> Anyway, let's head over to cricket. Let's get in the sunshine. I'm looking out now. It's literally not a single cloud in the sky. So I'm going to go enjoy some sun. And then with my son, my fur baby. And then, uh, yeah, pop to Wilco's later on this afternoon. I also need to go to Dunelm. I need to get some lights for outside. So that's going to be at some point as well today.
It's been you all along But I've been too caught up to see it, baby We can have it all Excuse the fact that the bed's not made. I need to do that now. I've got the um, sheets drying. So as soon as they're dried, the bed will be made. <sighs> do you know the sun just like regenerates you and just feels good but anyway um i got some bits from wilco's but i'd show you what i got in to be honest with you ended up getting quite a bit more than i thought i would so yeah a bit of a haul we've got here um so firstly some bits that i needed lenore outdoor balls would love to be able to pop somewhere where we can start drying our stuff especially like bedding today it would have been ideal to dry them outside we just don't have anywhere outside that we can put them at the minute. Um, so I need to get some kind of situation whereby I can have my clothes drying outside because they just smell so much better. But anyway, this in the meantime is really good. These Lenore Outdoorables. I've got some dishwasher tablets now that we have a dishwasher. <laughs> and also, we haven't used it yet, but I thought I would just get one of these dishwasher deep cleaners because we did have it run like a cycle just to test it when it was all plumbed in and when I opened it it was just a bit smelt a bit stagnant I thought you know what we'll just get get it to have a run a, what am I saying run a cycle with just a wash first just to make sure that any kind of water or whatever that's just been sat there condensation will be any kind of smell will be eliminated right okay this guys my little garden shed in a tin. I just love this. It's a plain and simple, empty tin that I saw, where did I see one of these? Dun Elm. And it was the same kind of deal, like a gardening type tin. They had seed boxes as well. I think they're about 16 pounds. Just for an empty tin, like this. This one was one pound, not even in the sale, like full price was a pound. So yeah, I thought it was really good. Good size to be able to just pop your essentials in there. Like, oh gosh, sorry, that was a bit loud. Like some seeds, like I said, if you've got any like seed packets that you wanna throw in there, your gardening gloves, little bits and bobs like that. I thought that'd be really handy to have to hand. <laughs> um, so yeah, at a pound, I thought definitely getting that. And so glad I've seen, I just remembered, totally forgot I bought these. Got myself a treat tonight. Oh, this has just made me so happy. Cause you know, I was just thinking as well, oh, I've not got anything sweet for tonight. Yes, I do. And uh, just these little Reese's peanut butter cups. Pack of five. And then what else did I get? I got a toy for Barney. Being such a good boy, sat out cricket. He actually fell asleep, bless him. Um, and yeah, it wasn't too hot for me. It's when it starts getting really warm that I'm like, I only take him maybe for an hour or two or somewhere where I can cool him off because it's just too hot for them. But today was good temperature. Anyway, um, yeah, a little kind of puppuccino. Do you know what these remind me of? The little, what they're called, that whole craze of these soft plush toys that are really expensive. Jelly cats, is that what they're called? It reminds me of a little jelly cat. Um, but yeah, anyway, I got that for him. That was a couple of pounds. And then I got a top up of, they had three for seven pounds, I think it was. So I got myself uh, one of these for in a bathroom, just a bathroom freshener. I love this scent that they do. It's actually my favorite that they've ever done, the orange Neroli. Um, so I got another plug-in as well. And then I also got one of these plug-ins. I was very tempted to just get two of these because I love them that much. But I thought in the space where Barney is, I'll just pop like, you know, where his his things belong. I'll pop the pet odor eliminating one in there. And then I also got two of these Febreze fabric refreshers. This one, I've never seen this one. It's a classic refresher for your car, for like your car upholstery. So I'll just pop that in my car. Oh no, something's leaked. What does that smell of? Maybe it's a bit of a Febreze. Mm. Doesn't look like it's leaked though. Anyway, I also got this one, which is in the fresh scent, it's called. And again, it's got the pet odor eliminating um, 
technology in there so that's good and then what else did i get oh i got another one of these fabric refreshers again i've not seen this one before oh so i think i bought these on another three for seven pounds um offer but yeah citrus active sounds good there was no sniff and sniff and test but it's an anti-mold odor one so good for in your bathroom if it gets a bit damp in there and you don't like want that mold smell which who wants a mold smell no one um but yeah also got this shower comb this i know it's called a shower comb but i thought this would be good for like when i've styled my hair and curled it and i just want to brush it out but without like my full tangle teaser which sometimes brushes out too many of the curls i thought this might be quite good um and then what else did i get oh, i got this uh mango wood bread tray although i thought that would be quite good for just like a little display tray as well like on a vanity or a console um i think i might pop this somewhere in our larder unit where we're going to have the coffee machine which we just ordered and is en route from curry so we've gone for like one of these sage barista we've got a really good deal FYI, Curry's price match. So we found a really good deal, sent them the price match option and they literally, I don't want to jinx myself because it's not here yet and hopefully they're not going to find it and think actually that's too much of a good deal. We'll scrap that and cancel the order. Am I jinxing it by saying it? I'm going to tell you anyway. Um, the machine itself was 700 and something. We found it online for 300 and something and they price matched it for us. So yeah, just remember that with curries. And they've obviously got all the warranty and everything with it. So we decided to go for it, bite the bullet and get a really nice coffee machine for our coffee station. Anyway, I thought that'd be quite nice in there with like some little pots with, with coffee beans or sugars or whatever. Um, I'll find a place for it. And then last but not least in this bag anyway, we've still got one more to go, is this rustic linen set now they don't have the napkins in this material but they've got placemats and a table runner so i decided to get both of them the placemats are a set of two um so i thought rather than use these as an actual placemat to maybe just pop it like in the middle of a table for hot plates or on the island as well because now that we've got our new worktop in no hot plates are allowed on the worktop so just something just to protect them and then this linen look, well, they call it linen look, like a rustic linen look table runner, I thought would be quite good. I mean, I don't know if this will fit the full length of the dining table that we're going to order. Where's the label? I don't think there is a label on it because I had to get her to go and get a label. Let's see if the measurements are here. 180 centimetres. Yeah, that's nowhere near long enough. The table that we've gone for in our kitchen living at such basically by the back crittle doors. Um, we've got a long table going along there and I think it's about 250, 260. So this wouldn't fit as a table runner and like hang down at the sides, but would be nice down the middle for, again, for hot plates, for styling, if you're doing a bit of a shower, platter type tablescape with candles, whatever you want down the middle. It might be quite nice to have just this to kind of use that as a base, but maybe we will have to get a longer table runner as well. Um, so yeah, I've got that. I also got this jar for our straw. I've just been buying these as and when I see them or good deals or kind of mismatched as well for our larger units and our utility pantry unit, not utility, our pantry units, cupboards, pantry cupboards for storage, all sorts of different things like rice, cereals, pastas, whatever. And I quite like the whole mismatch element. So when I've been seeing one that I like the colour of the acacia wood, just grab one, like different size. I probably could do with some bigger ones actually. I've got a lot that size now, but and some smaller ones, but I haven't really got any bigger than that. Got some treats for Marnie. He loves his gravy bones. And then I got this. Now this does come with a little plant stand. I didn't get the plant stand, but I just got the terracotta pot itself. Again, these were about a pound. So really good. And I was thinking of popping this as like styling on the kitchen shelf that we've got, like at the backsplash where our sink is. Goes into a shelf, so I want to style it up. I'm thinking something like this with maybe a little faux lavender plant. I know Ikea do some really good ones that look really realistic. Um, so yeah, I was thinking like some lavender in there. You know, like a real, I think the Ikea ones in particular are very, how do I describe this? They're not quite like 
bold green and a bold purple they're quite like a washed color so like a real i don't know i don't know what i'm trying to say all like rosemary would be quite nice in there so nothing too like bold and colorful but just like some kind of herb or faux lavender plant or something styled up on that shelf i thought would be quite nice and then last but not least i got this pot which i think is beautiful and i've got a place in mind for this in particular and it just says growing in my garden really like the shape of it and the handles as well so i'm thinking for this outside on our patio area which is basically finished now because we've had all the rendering done so it's all bright and white and is looking good so i'm thinking this in between the two critter doors that we've got on the outside wall there's obviously a part which is wall so that could sit in front of it with a smaller olive tree in, like like a small one. Because we are going to have some bigger ones like down at the bottom of the patio. So this one just as a divide in between the two doors would be quite nice. Potentially may even go get another two and have one at either end as well. But for now I thought let me just get the one, see how it fits, see what size wise it looks like. Go with that and then I can always go back to them. So anyway, that's everything that I picked up from Wilco's and yeah, I feel like I'm just gonna have a lovely rest of my evening getting on with some bedding, bed washing and uh, I don't know, can you hear the hoover downstairs? I'd love to say it's Tom hoovering the entire house, it's not, that's what I need to do, Tom is out still at cricket. That is the painter who's sanding and so each time he sands he has to hoover but anyway. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed spending these last couple of days with me and uh, right on cue, he's just finished. I'm going to sign off the vlog here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Thumbs up if you have and do subscribe for more. I will hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys.